I just got in my plant order and I thought I would show you guys some of the cool varieties that I got this go round. Uh, I probably splurged a little more than I really needed to on some of the rare guys, but uh, it's fun to have them in the shop for anybody who's looking for them. So uh, this is my process. I have my uh, pricing sheet here, my invoice and my pricing done. And so my handy dandy calculator and I just go through and uh, get all these figured out and then marked and then up on my shelves and it takes me a little while to get through all of them. Uh, and the sneaky thing is, of course, I've got room on the shelves. So I try and put four up, but most of these varieties, I get five plants. And so I usually have one little guy uh, just by itself. Uh, so I've got a tray of like odds and ends at the end that I have to try and figure out what to do with. So um, anyway, I'm gonna show you some, like I said, some of the cooler varieties that I got this go round. Um, this is a ficus called Shiverina and it is beautiful. It's got this gorgeous variegated speckled foliage. And so I only got one of these cause they were kind of expensive, but a lot of fun. And ficus is pretty easy to grow. So I'm hoping this guy will not be an exception to that rule. So there's that one. I got one of these. This is called Philodendron Ring of Fire. So this is a philodendron. Um, and this Ring of Fire is really pretty. You can see it's got kind of this pink and white and green variegation to it. And then the stems come up this really pretty pink color. Just really beautiful. So hopefully somebody wants one of these and will come hunting for it. And then I could not choose between these guys. So I have a Philodendron White Knight, uh, which has the lovely white variegation and this lighter green color and kind of some speckles going on. And I think this one's just really pretty. And then it comes up, the, the stems have this really pretty creamy white color to them, which is awesome. And then this one is White Princess. And again, a lot of the same really pretty variegation, but the stems don't come up with quite such a creamy margin. Um, but you can see the little leaves coming on here with all that white, just really pretty. Uh, and then I have two white knights, but they're way over there. So I'll grab those in just a minute. Um, are they white knights? Nope, they're white wizards. I have two white wizards way over there. I'll grab those in a few minutes though. <laughs> so I got, Five of these, this is another philodendron. It's called Painted Lady. Um, and she gets this really pretty speckled gold foliage to her and she's got really pretty pink kind of stems. So a lot of fun there. And these, I can never pronounce the, um, Agla Onima, and this one's called Ruby Ray, uh, and I just love the pink variegation to this one. I think it's so pretty. This one's actually got a flower on it. Let go. Oh, there we go. Anyway, see the flower? So it's about ready to flower, but look at the pretty pink speckles. I just think they're adorable. So that is those. And then Calatheas, I love Calatheas. They're a little bit hard to deal with sometimes. I did read that uh, part of what my issue might be with some of mine is giving them city water because the chlorine. Uh, so I've been, I just recently started within the last uh, month or so, letting my water sit in a bucket because apparently the chlorine is supposed to dissipate as it sits. And so I only give them water after it's been sitting for like three or four days. Um, and I'm hoping that'll help with the little brown tips that they get. And I'm doing that for all of my plants here. I can't imagine chlorine is super great for any of them. So um, hopefully that trick works. And uh, one of the things I will be doing probably within the next um, week or so is fertilizing all of them. I got a really good 2020-20 uh, fertilizer and I'm going to be diluting that in water and giving them all a little drink. So. 
so they haven't had any fertilizer. At least these guys haven't had any fertilizer uh, probably since they were in their original homes. So um, anyway, so this Calathea is called a uh, White Star, and I only got a couple of these because that was all they had left. But this is probably one of my favorite Calatheas. I just love the stripy foliage on it. So really pretty. And then these are a Sansevieria. Uh, this one is a whale fin snake plant. And uh, they're just really cool. I mean, this feels like a whale fin. It's so thick and just kind of rough. It's just a weird plant. So I got a few of these and I thought they were just kind of cool. So I'm going to set these aside. Shoop. And shoop. And then this is an Anthurium hookeri variegata. So it will get, it has some speckling to the foliage you can kind of see in some of these. But these get really big leaves. Um, on them. The variegation in this one's a little heavier. You can see um, some of the green kind of speckles in there. So I thought those were kind of cool. Just sort of something a little different. And then this is an alocasia called Red Secret. And just something different. I've had a few different alocasias. I thought this one was kind of fun. Uh, just kind of a different guy. So really pretty. So I got those. Let's switch this forward. Then this is a begonia called Pink Spot. So obviously for the reason that it has little pink spots all over its foliage. <laughs> but uh, just a really pretty little different begonia. And then this is a silver leaf philodendron. So it's got the really pretty, just kind of silvery variegation to it. Uh, just a really pretty little plant. Um, and this one's, I think, a trailer. So that'll be a nice one. It's always nice to have some trailing plants in your repertoire. Then these are jasmine. Um, so if you are in need of something that smells fantastic, these are going to go to town and bloom here in just, just a bit, probably the next week or two. Um, maybe a little bit longer. I'm not a, uh, Jasmine aficionado, aficionado, um, but probably pretty soon by the, the size of these little buds and these are going to smell fantastic. So, um, make sure if you need a Jasmine, you come down and grab one. And then these I thought were neat. I'd never heard of them before. It's called a Piper Ornatum or Salib's Pepper. So, and again, just the pretty variegation, that um, stripy pink in the foliage, it's just really pretty. So, some different. I've been trying, you know, I always try and get something. I really try to get stuff that I haven't necessarily had before. Um, just to keep it different and interesting. So people keep coming back and looking to see what I have. So in this bucket, we have my biggest lurch. Uh, this is a Thai constellation, cutie little pie. So um, where's a pretty penny? <laughs> so he's my second one that I've had. I sold my other one, so I grabbed him. And then these are the white wizards. So you can see on these how they have this like pink little stripe and then they get again that really pretty uh, variegated foliage. So just super pretty. I love these guys. And then I got these because I think they're fun. These are just a little uh, Junkus corkscrew rush. So these are fun because you can put them in water. You can just have them planted out. They're just cute. So I grabbed a few of those. And then this, forgive me while I look, it's, I think it's called a Million Hearts Plant. <laughs> I 
Yeah. Fischidia rescifolia variegata, million hearts plant. So, and they're just tiny little things, but you can see the little leaves do look like little hearts. So they're super cute. So I grabbed a couple of those. Anyway, I'm going to go grab some more and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and uh, I'm going to show you some more of my cool plants that I got. So um, these are Skindapis and this one's called Moonlight. And I absolutely love the way that this one has this beautiful kind of silvery variegation. Um, and I've done Skindapis before. I think that's how you pronounce it, hopefully. Um, and they are just a really easy plant. Um, I, they like it here. They don't seem to care if they're in a lot of light or hardly any. Um, and they just do really well. So I really like them. This is a, a whale fin. Yes, whale fin snake plant. So it's another Sansevieria. But this one is variegated. So it's got that really thick kind of um, rough texture to it, but it's variegated. So it's got the really pretty um, yellow kind of color. And I just thought this was kind of fun. So I grabbed one of those. Ah, so set these aside. Come on, shoot that away. This is another Calathea. This is one I'd never heard of. This is called Calathea Bella Carlina. And uh, just really pretty. If you look really close, you can see there's like little stripes in the foliage. Um, just like little striations all in the, the leaves are just really pretty. A lot of detail in these. Calatheas, like I said, are a little bit fussy. Um, I'm hoping to, to ouch, um, subvert, subvert some of that with uh, hopefully non-chlorinated water. So we'll see how that goes. And then this guy, this is a Hoya, I called Super Silver. And uh, it's got nice, thick, waxy leaves, and it's got this beautiful uh, silvery color, kind of variegated with some spotting. Really pretty. So I thought these were just really cool. And this is another good uh, drapey plant. So there are those. Trying to be careful. I woke up this morning and I was fine and somewhere between when I got out of the car here at work and when I made my coffee this morning, my back started to hurt. So um, trying to not move too much. That's why I said, ow, just a minute ago. Oh. Okay, so this is another Hoya. This is um, Wayetii, and it's a tricolor. So it's got the really pretty, again, I got a lot of variegated plants this time. I love the way that these come out, this really pretty pink. Um, and so you've got this whole beautiful tricolor effect on this plant. And this is another one that drapes down. So just a really cool little guy. Hoyas for me have always been really easy to care for as well. So pretty simple plant. And then this is a lipstick plant. I'm trying to figure out how to pronounce the actual Latin name, but I'm not even going to give it a go right now. Uh, this one's called Purple Star, and it gets really pretty. I believe they're kind of a pink uh, flower on them. So, but just kind of a nifty little uh, plant. So again, kind of waxy leaves. Um, something a little different. And then... I got some African violets. Uh, they're not my favorite thing in the entire world, but I love the fact that they were flowering and um, just kind of a harbinger of spring. And so I got a few of these. So hopefully, um, hopefully some of my customers will like them. So there's those, I got pink and purple. And then this one I just thought was fun. Um, this is a called confetti and this is a syngonium 
<sighs> yep, Syngonium. And it's called Milk Confetti, excuse me. But look at the cute little pink dots in that foliage. And it's, I love the silvery kind of color of the foliage. And then the little pink dots that are in there are just cool. So, got some of those. And then, now these two I cheated and I, I, I carry these quite a bit. Um, but my customers love these and they're not very expensive. This is Pink Panther Turtle Vine. And it's just got a really pretty pink variegation to it. The only thing with these is the minute you take them out of sunlight, they turn green and it's really hard. I haven't had really luck getting them to turn back variegated. So my um, advice would be always keep them somewhere where they get plenty of light. Um, but they're a pretty easy grower. Uh, and like I said, they're not very expensive. So my customers tend to like them. And then, of course, the variegated string of hearts. This is a customer favorite. Um, just really super pretty uh, variegation. And they look like little hearts. And this one's kind of the tendency of a succulent. So they don't need a whole heck of a lot of water. Um, but they're a really, really pretty little plant. And this one will drape down the sides of the pot as well. So that is those. So I'm going to price these, get them on my shelf, and then I'll show you some more. Okay, so we're getting down to the nitty gritty. I've only got a few things left to show you, but um, I kind of put this guy in front, so I'm gonna get him out of my face. <laughs> this is just a cat palm. Uh, I wanted something with a little bit of height, and I will probably be taking this guy over to uh, my booth at the Bohemian North, but um, he's nice and, nice and healthy, and I just love these. Uh, the only thing is they do like a little bit of um, humidity and so that's my only worry with him going over there so i might have to get him like a little tray and some pebbles to stick under him just to give him a little bit of, of more um, humidity than what he's going to get over there naturally so we'll see anyway but that's that guy i ordered some lemon and lime plants so these are this is a lemon this is a lime these guys are getting ready to flower um, so are these and uh, they smell fantastic when they're in flower. They're a great patio plant So uh, take them out during the summer put them in a nice big pot um, And let them have the heat of the summer and then bring them in during the winter So they're not hardy in our area, but they will bear fruit um, And you don't need to have several of one variety in order to bear fruit. They're all self-pollinating. So um, anyway, so I grabbed some of those. I thought they were cool. Um, I, worst case, I'm going to take these guys down with me to Garden Expo when I'm there in May. So we'll see. Um, but anyway, so there's, I got three of each of those guys. And then this guy's poking me, so I'll get rid of him. Uh, this is a little ficus tree. I think this one's called Tinky. Um, I just thought they were pretty and uh, this will be a really pretty little uh, office plant or house plant or something up on a standard like this. So more of a tree form. So um, yeah, Taniki maybe. Um, anyway, super cute. Uh, I love the variegation to the foliage and then how it comes out this really pretty pink color. So nice little ficus. These I got, these are another Sansevieria. This one's called Jaboa. Um, it gets this really pretty kind of striping to it. Um, so just a really nice little Sansevieria. These guys are so great for low light situations. If you don't water frequently, um, they're just a really super easy care plant. So there are those. And then last couple, this is another Sansevieria. I basically like this one because it's silver and the name of it's Metallicum. So um, I just think it's super pretty. I've had one of these before and it sold within a few days. I put it over in the Bohemian and it sold within a few days of being in there. So I decided to try and get a couple more and see how they did. So there's those, I got two of these. And then the very last thing is this ficus. Um, ficus are another great indoor low light uh, little baby tree and so this guy will get a little bit bigger but they're easy to trim and super pretty and they really don't uh, require a heck of a lot of care so I grabbed one of those 
And that is it for my uh, plant haul, I guess. I don't know. Um, my plant order. So I need to get the rest of these guys priced and get them out on my counter or on my um, shelves and figure out which ones are going with me over to the Bohemian on Sunday and uh, yeah, get everything cleaned up because now my floor is a filthy wreck. <laughs> So I need to vacuum. So anyway, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, come buy some plants from me if you are in the area. So anyway, have a great day. Bye. <music>